Alright guys, I wanted to make a video to show you how to connect to your Arduino and also upload code using uh, a Mac. Alright, so given that you've done the installation of all the software, uh, now let's uh, open up Arduino. So we're going to go to our Finder. And if you followed my other video, you've gone ahead and put Arduino under Applications. So we put Applications. Open up Arduino. Wait this for this guy to open. Okay, go ahead and open it. All right, let me just minimize this. We don't need that anymore. Wait for this thing to open. All right, so we've got Arduino open here. Um, so I'm going to click here. And the first thing that I need to point out, the one of the big differences between Windows and Mac is that on Windows, you're going to see the words file and edit and sketch around here. But for Mac, it's not here. It's actually up here. So that's number one thing. If you're used to using a, a Windows computer in our class, that might freak you out. But now you know it's here. Uh, so. So now that we know that, the next thing we have to do is we have to set the board. So we're going to go to Tools, Board, all right, and there, there are going to be two types of boards that we use in our class. One is Arduino Uno and one is Arduino Nano. So you're going to have to make sure you know which one you're using. If you're using a, a blue controller board and it has, has the big uh, three-letter word called Uno on it, then you want to, to use Uno. If you're using a Barnabas Noggin, um, right now it's green colored, um, and you also don't see the big Uno word, then it's gonna be Nano. So I actually have a uh, Barnabas Noggin, so I need to select Nano. Right, let's make sure that that happened. Tools, okay, it says Nano, that's good. Um, here, uh, so this is an extra step because Arduino is constantly changing. Um, if you're using an Arduino Nano, we also have to go to here and then say old bootloader. All right, let's go and make sure. Okay, so now we're set up. Um, now we have to set the port. So we go to port and then you see it says dev Bluetooth. Okay, so here's another thing that's different about the Mac and the Windows. For Windows, when you go to port, it's going to say COM1, COM2, and so forth. You're not going to see that on the Mac. You're going to see this other stuff. Now, this Bluetooth thing, that's not what we want. Actually, I haven't even connected my robot to my Mac yet, so it doesn't show up. So that's okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to plug it in. You can't see it. Uh, you may be able to hear what I'm doing. I'm I'm connecting my cable to my, my USB cable to my Arduino Nano or Barnabas Noggin, and I'm going to now connect it to my Mac. Okay, I'm doing that right now. If you have everything installed, another port should show up. Now, I've already plugged it in, but I don't see the port showing up. One thing you need to do is let's, let's, let's step away from it for a second and come back. Still not there. Step away, come back, still not there. What if I come out like this? Click there and then come back to it. Let's see what happens. Ah, now we have something. We have these two extra things. They see these two things weren't here before, so that's a good sign. If you plug in your robot and some extra things show up, that means that your computer sees something. Okay, the one you want is this one. CU.WCHUUSB serial. Okay, so we click on that. All right, so now we set up the uh, board, we set up the uh, port. Now let's do a test to make sure everything is working. So I'm going to click here on upload, and this is just going to do a test. It's going to just send blank code over. It says uploading. It says done. If it says done uploading like this, everything's great. Okay, so this looks good. Now, if you're doing text-based coding in our class, you would be learning stuff like these text commands, like, uh, let's see, pin mode, seven, comma, output. So that sets the digital, uh, seven, digital output seven to an output. Now, if this looks foreign to you, then you're not in text coding, you're doing block coding. 
Now, in order to do that, we have to go to Tools and then Ardu Block. And then this should look familiar. This, this is what you've been doing in class. And so you can now pick your blocks and stuff. Make sure it snaps in there. And what I like to do, since I'm doing this already, I like to make this thing split screen so these two screens are next to each other. So I'm going to put, put it like this. I'm going to put this one over here. OK. And when I'm ready, I click Upload. Then it sends this code here over to here. Oh, this little thing comes up. Yeah, just click Save. That's fine. And then this goes over here, and then it uploads, and it should say done. Okay. So actually, so now I've I've uh, set up my port, I've um, set up my board, and I've also up uh, opened Ardu block so that I can send block-based code over there. So now we are ready to rock and roll to program um, in software, and then also send that software to our robot. All right. Go and have some fun.